What you guys got another video can you downgrade from windows 11 to windows 10 on a new laptop or pc if this new pc come with windows 11 pre-installed you might want to think twice about whether you really want to downgrade to windows 10 one is because the end of life for windows 10 is october 2025 and you would have to pay for security updates after that point virtually all new pcs sold in the retail market today come pre-installed with windows 11. the hardware was designed to work with uh, the latest operating systems from microsoft which is windows 11 and most models built for the consumer market don't offer the option to install the older version of windows 10. so pcs made for enterprise markets like businesses and things like that sometimes offer this option but this price tag is going to be a lot higher for businesses to use uh, another version so if you've purchased a pc or laptop and it's brand new and it come pre-installed with windows 11 you can downgrade to windows 10 but there is a caveat you have to do a fresh install of windows 10 to make it work so these are the caveats that you have to follow Basically, you would need to check the edition of Windows that you're using. If you're using Windows 11 Home here, as you can see on the screen, that means you are only capable of installing Windows 10 Home on that system. And you would have to do that via a USB flash drive, create a bootable media and install it, And which means it's going to erase everything on that computer. There's no way of... Uh, downgrading and keeping all of your apps and things like that now we all know that you can go into uh, the settings and system and recovery and generally roll back or downgrade via this method but you can't do this on a brand new laptop or pc although you can easily upgrade from windows 10 pc to windows 11 preserving all your installed apps and settings and data files you can't do this in the reverse manner so if you want to downgrade from windows 11 to windows 10 you have to do a clean install which requires backing up all of your files and restoring the data files after you reinstalled windows 10 you would need to head over to microsoft's website and download uh, the create a windows 10 installation media tool and this will be the media creation tool that you're going to need to create a bootable usb flash drive and then boot to that drive and reinstall windows that way and as for activation your windows 11 license will activate windows 10 and vice versa which means you still have the option to upgrade back to windows 11 at a later date if you wish now there's a very very small chance that you could run into hardware incompatibilities but it's very unlikely there might be an issue with some of the uh, software which is proprietary to the branded manufacturer of that laptop or PC like HP, Asus and so on. Their software might not work on Windows 10 as it did with Windows 11. You have to look into that yourself. It's also advisable to check any sort of warranties that you may have to make sure you're not voiding any of those by installing Windows 10 on that laptop or PC that you've just purchased. Now, if you're asking my opinion whether I'd actually downgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 11, I would stay with Windows 11 just because uh, it's just less hassle. And also the end of life for Windows 10 is coming in October 2025. So bear that in mind as well. Also, another thing to take into account is the fact that once you uh, downgrade, you can upgrade again to Windows 11 if that is what you really want to do. Personally, I would just stay with Windows 11 for that system because that's what it was designed for and there is no real benefit of downgrading to windows 10 in my honest opinion you're not going to see any gains by doing it uh, it's microsoft operating system at the end of the day bloatware and also telemetry is in all of those uh, operating systems that they've produced windows 10 and windows 11 at the end of the day the choice is yours it's your laptop or pc you choose whatever you want to do with that particular hardware but I hope this answers all your questions about downgrading from Windows 11 to Windows 10 on new laptops and PCs. Now, looking at this Windows 11 commercial facts here, we can take a look at the licensing questions and uh, we can see what it says right here. So if we come all the way down here, 
And look at this. If an end user purchases a Windows 11 device, can I move back to Windows 10 standard and how? Downgrade rights are available for Windows 11 Pro OEM licensed devices. You can downgrade to any version of Windows Pro and Professional has not reached end of support date. You will need to re-image and clean install Windows 11 device to downgrade to Windows 10. Downgrade rights are also available through the Microsoft Volume Licensing. Check your agreement for more details. But that's it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.